welcome back everyone to Motuganda. Or no, in that case, I have to say it a bit more specific. Of course, if you watch that video, hoping you will get some information how you can get legally married to children in Germany, get the fuck out. I don't want you in this channel. Of course, no, you're just a sick pedophile. But anyone else is very welcome, obviously. And I'm actually wondering, of course, if someone would have told me like a month ago or two months ago, well, in your political motive vlog you will at one point make a video about child marriage in Germany. I would have told him, yeah, like, yeah, you're not talking about Germany, right? You're talking about some third world country or something. I would have never believed I have to do such a video. And to be honest, it's normally I try to be pretty much neutral on my videos and being not biased or anything but on that topic I have to say straight away there is there is no neutral point you can have there so I was reading earlier this week that the Minister of Justice wants to tighten the rules for child marriage and I was like what do you mean by tighten them as far as I knew up till then, I always saw, thought in Germany you have the rule if one of the partners is below 18, there is no marriage. Full stop. And actually, even that law still exists. They basically say, yeah, well, in those countries it's legal, so they come here as refugees and they are married already and you cannot separate them then or it's no no it's it's just no if you come to a country you have to apply to rules that's the first thing but what I learned from the media now and even from the justice ministry that well for migrants we slightly change the laws there or basically not change the law since the law is still in place they just don't apply for migrants of course what was said how it is handled at the moment that if one of the partners um, is below 18 and they were married already in their home country or where, where they came from, then it's up to the judge to decide if we will accept that marriage and they can continue being married. And I mean, what is that? Since when a judge can decide, like, if he wants to apply the current law or not? That's, in my opinion, not a justice system anymore. Taking into account that there were already a lot of cases, unfortunately, in Germany where judges or higher politicians got involved in pedophile cases. Um, to me it doesn't sound like a good idea that judges then can decide whether it's, it's legal or acceptable or whatever if anyone is married to a child or not. I mean, it's just plain wrong. So, okay, 
at least they now want to tighten those rules. So basically they want to make it harder for judges to break the current law on a daily basis. But in which way they're gonna change it? And well, you won't find much about it in the newspaper there. Of course, they just said, yeah, they want to change it. Or tighten it, but better to say. Of course, it sounds so good, like, yeah, we're gonna go stricter against them. But in reality, they don't say much about it. What they're gonna make stricter and so on. The only thing I could find so far, and unfortunately I just found it in one newspaper, so not really verifiable as valid. But I found that the underage partner then should have the right... Whoa, and that was close. So the underage partner should ha then have the right to go to a lawyer and go to court for separation. Like imagine, let's say, 12 or 13 year old girl married to some older guy in a country where she doesn't speak the language and doesn't know how the system works and so on and most probably isn't even aware of that she would have the right then that this girl goes to a lawyer to take her so-called husband to court to get separated come on how likely is that and what really pisses me off is if I then go to social media to see those articles and the comments on it one would think like it's just comments like no you shouldn't do that and so on actually it's not you really find people well I wouldn't say being in favor but you find people who are downplaying it by arguing so you want to forbid a 17 year old girl to marry his 19 year old boyfriend and one word to these commenters I mean I'm pretty sure they don't watch this but anyway even if you have a point there downplaying it in my opinion is being in favor of it. I mean, you have to set an age somewhere, like a cutoff age or whatever you call it. I don't even see any room for any kind of discussion there going on for those people, for those, let's call it what they are, for those fucking pedophiles. I mean, okay, no, n actually not not 100% true here. I would be open for a discussion. And there is basically only one type of discussion I would be open for. And that's the, discussing the questions, do the gas chambers in Germany still work? And if not, how long does it take them to get them working again for those people? that's where they belong if you want to marry a child in my opinion the best option is just get yourself a rope and kill yourself I mean you're just a sick bastard uh, I don't find any any other words or any nice words or yeah no <laughs> But anyway, in case you still enjoyed it somehow, just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And put anything in the comments except if you want to tell me any arguments for 
child marriage. In that case, sorry, but go and fuck yourself and don't come back to that channel ever, please. And yeah, if you didn't subscribe, now you can do it, but pretty sure you did already, right? And I see you in the next video.